The paper's in 10 minutes' time hot off the press, but first, it's time for Mark Meets. Imagine being taken away from your parents at birth and not finding out until later in life. My next guest is Jane Blasio, who shares her experience in an amazing best-selling tell-all book. It's called Taken at Birth, Stolen Babies, Hidden Lies and My Journey to Finding Home. Prior to its release, Jane appeared in a TLC investigative series called Taken at Birth, where Jane interviewed other victims of the now infamous Hicks Clinic. And with an investigative team, she looked into the mysteries behind the case of Dr. Thomas Hicks, who sold babies illegally from his clinic in the 1950s and 1960s. Uh, Jane Blasio joins me now. Hi, Jane. Hi, how are you? I'm very well, and I'm deeply indebted to you for joining us and to share your story on the national television airwaves. How old were you when you were given away? Uh, I was given away within just a few days of birth, and uh, I was not in good condition. My adoptive parents were worried that they wouldn't get um, back to Ohio, from Georgia to Ohio, which is like a 14 hour drive at that time, uh, without me. Um, having some medical issues, if I, if I even survived the drive. Uh, which is another amazing element to the story, just that journey. Uh, Jane, why did your parents and your biological mother give you away? You know, I, I don't know why um, I was given away, uh, but I know that my, um, I call them adoptive parents, but because it wasn't a legal adoption, um, it was a transaction. I know that my... Um, mother that raised me was just desperate to have a child and she couldn't have one herself um, because of medical issues and she just really wanted one and my um the the man that raised me really wanted her he wanted to give her what she wanted so that's why they um why they in their desperation turned to dr hicks who was basically selling babies out of his clinic and it goes without saying he was breaking the law doing this? Well, um, this was what makes this transaction, what makes it illegal is that there is no buried A file for the adoption. So basically he was taking cash or check for a baby and giving them a birth certificate that didn't have the birth family uh, documented, didn't have a birth family um, birth certificate so that if someone needed to go back and find them, for medical purposes, for you know, historical purposes, or just because that's their birthright, uh, there was absolutely nothing that was filed or buried that someone could go back and check to see, you know, to, to check with the birth family. So for Plus, Dr. You know, Hicks, the, yeah, go, go on, apologies. <laughs> no, 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 that's all right. Uh, you know, one of the things that makes this, actually, I think one of the worst things about this is that, you know, I, ha I know other Hicks babies and other people that I've helped in the past with their adoption searches, that needed medical information. And because this was cut off and was done illegally, they had absolutely no way to get their medical information that in some circumstances was life-threatening. So, for, so Dr. Thomas, for Dr. Thomas Hicks, uh, can we just assume this was a business for him, that he was unscrupulous here? He wasn't exactly offering a public service. He was profiteering. Is that fair to say? Um, I will go in with that he was a businessman. And, you know, I've said to many people over the years, because they ask me all the time, you know, what do you think of Dr. Hicks? And I have always said pretty much the same thing. And that is that I think that if he were alive today, that he and I would be sitting down, we would be talking maybe over a beer, and I would be asking him the hard questions and he would be answering because I don't think that he thought he did anything wrong. So it's really, I mean, everyone's experience with Dr. Hicks, you know, is, was different. It was personal, but I don't know. It's just really hard to sum up who Dr. Hicks was because he had so many different, he was a very complicated man. But yes, he was a businessman. He was a very good businessman. He was probably I, 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 one of. Right. Not, notwithstanding his ethics or otherwise, one big problem was bureaucratic and logistical and they didn't have the paperwork. It made it harder for you to work out your story. Um, so how old were you when you discovered that you'd been 
handed away at birth. How old were you and what were the emotions when you found out? Well, I was very young, um, you know, and I detail all of this in my book. Um, but at six years old, my um, parents brought us, my sister and I, because my sister was bought from the Hicks Clinic as well. She and I weren't related DNA wise, but we were bought from the same place and raised together. Um, they brought us in and told us what adoption was because kids on the playground had said to my sister and had called us black market babies. And so, of course, we didn't know what adoption was. We had never had any experience with that. And we were both very young, but we also really didn't know what black market babies were. And for kids to be calling us that, you know, I, I think it impacted my sister, Michelle, more because she was 10. I just wanted to get out of the uncomfortableness of the moment and go out and play. But my sister was very, I mean, my sister was standing there just bawling. I mean, there was nothing, you know, that she, she just totally didn't understand it. And my, as my parents were trying to um, explain it, I mean, how do you explain what a black market baby is to a six and a 10 year old? Do you judge your step parents for having bought you? I know that they were good parents. You don't bear them any ill will, but do you judge them for that decision? And was it the wrong thing to do on their part? Well, like you said, you know, I love them. I don't judge them. Um, there's no, no, no animosity there. Um, but when you love something and you're desperate and you want to have a baby, you still have responsibilities. And I feel a, a lot of disappointment that that information wasn't given to me and that I had to spend my entire life trying to find it. And it was my birthright my medical information, that's my right to have. My historical, who my family was, that's my right. That's everybody's right. So yeah, it was a bit disappointing. Um, and it was, we'll just say, I'm just going to tell it the way I feel. And that is that it was wrong. And it shouldn't have been done the way that it was. They had a responsibility to go a step further and get mm. my information and they did it. Jane, what have you since discovered about your birth parents, if anything? <laughs> Uh, well, it's, like I said, it's detailed in the book uh, because it's so, this is such a yeah. complicated you, you story. Have to, my so viewers, yeah, my viewers have got to read the book because I've been looking through highlights and it's extraordinary stuff. Uh, it, it's more extraordinary than any movie. Uh, but I mean, do you want, without giving the story away, do you want to hand over any clues as to what you found out? Well, I will, I will tell you that, um, you know, God knows what he's doing. And he did connect me with both sides of my birth family. And I absolutely love them. And I think that it's just been, uh, it's just been a, a fabulous journey. Um, it's had its ups and downs. And there's been, some, there's been a lot of tears, a lot of heartbreak. But there's also been um, just a really great end to this chapter in my life. And I'm, I'm very thankful for it. So, But, you know, yeah. I, I want to say. Go, go for yeah, it. Yeah, go ahead. No, what do you want to say? That's I, I, what I, I care about. <laughs> what I want to say is that my story is not different than anybody else's story. And I was one of 200 plus, you know, we're projecting 200 plus other babies that were sold to the Akron, Ohio area. My story is not any different than anybody else's. Nobody likes to be lied to. Nobody likes to be told that they can't have what is their right, um, who they are. Um, no one likes to have things stolen from them. And so I'm no different than anyone else. But I will tell anyone, and they ask me what any suggestions or recommendations, and I'm, I learned very early on that I don't like being told no. And I think that if you can just wrap your head around the tenacity and getting the answers to any questions you have in life, then you'll be good. And I think that's how my story ends, is that I embrace that, um, not accepting no, and uh, just going for it and trying to get all of my answers. Jane, you're an amazing lady and congratulations on what you've achieved in your journey. Thank you for telling us your amazing story. I would urge my viewers to download via Kindle or purchase a copy of Taken at Birth by Jane Blasio. It's out now. And there you go. What a story. How do you follow that? Well, we've got the papers hot off the press next. See you in two.